At the beginning of the First World War, Hans Kirstein saw army service in Poland and France with a sapper unit. By 1915 he was serving in Galicia where he contracted malaria. After his recovery he was sent back to Germany and was then returned to the Western Front, where he served until May 1917 when he transferred to the air service. As with many airmen, Kirstein initially flew two-seaters and even flew a bombing raid on Dover, but in March 1918 he joined Yasta 6 as a fighter pilot. By the end of May he'd scored 16 victories, and this was increased to 27 by the 24th of June when he was awarded the Pour la Mérite. Kirstein is reported to have been rebuked by Manfred von Richthofen at one point after downing two enemy aircraft. After the victories had been reported, Richthofen discovered a bullet hole in the tail of Kirstein's aircraft. Aware of the fact that Richthofen did not tolerate his pilots allowing themselves to be shot at, Kirstein was highly embarrassed and was told, Your two kills were respectable, but they mustn't be bought by shots in the back. Obviously you were lucky and came across bunnies. Any decent flyer would have clearly laid you flat on the lawn. Mark it with rings and be proud of it. Know it. Did it once the same way. By May 16, 1918, Yasta 6 had been re-equipped with the Fokker D7, which Kirstein painted in the same manner as this earlier Fokker triplane. On the 9th of June, the unit's commanding officer was shot down and taken prisoner, and Kirstein took over command of the unit. However, like many Yasta 6 commanders, he was not destined to have the job for long. Five days later on July 16, 1918, Kirstein and Lieutenant Johannes Markgraf were killed in an accident flying a Hanover CL-2 at Magno, near Fizems. It was later determined that Markgraf had never previously flown a Hanover. The diagonal stripes on Kirstein's aircraft were designed, by him, to put attacking pilots off their aim. The idea was that enemy pilots would try and sight along the lines, thinking they ran parallel with the wings and fuselage, which would cause them to aim in the wrong place or with the wrong deflection. The markings on the aircraft prompted Kirstein to call his aircraft the optical illusion. After Kirstein's death, Triplane 586-17 was flown by Lt. Ernst Udet, who, with 62 aerial victories, was second only to Manfred von Richthofen in the German Air Force. We've got a wide variety of awesome video here on the Historical Machines channel. Please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you're kept up to date when we release new videos. And check out our website as well for details on how you can sign up to our full Historical Machines TV streaming channel with a lot more awesome machinery video and films.